Yeah, good morning everyone in the grand ecosystem. Today is the 17th day of uh, the month of June in the year of the Lord 2024. I am coming your way this day. My name is Honorable Dick Henry Obasi, the voice crying in the wilderness for the grand community. Yeah, uh, please, my people, this my vo voice uh, note is going to be a little you know, a bit lengthy, but I want you to follow me in this journey so that it will open your eyes and a lot of things we have been, you know, meant to understand that have failed us. Now, in the first place, when Kinsley Odogu one started all grand pressure group, all these people, Abdu, all these other they, they people, nobody had anything about them. I was one of the persons uh, encouraging Kinsley, you know, advising him before he he resigned and the uh, new man took over. When new man came because of his inordinate ambition, he left because there was no way he could be an ambassador of Chiobe Global Foundation, also become a fighter of our grand pressure group. So he had to resign and Abu took over. And when Abu took over, Abu made us to understand that they are fighters that they are not grant handlers. And uh, according to Sazawood, Sazawood made us to understand that uh, uh, Apostle Ken Waka, that Apostle Ken Waka's name was in the document. Suddenly, he came up one day and told us that Apostle Ken Waka's name wasn't in the document, that they were the people. Uh, that suddenly decided to put his name in the document in order not to allow him to be uh, clothed with shame. That they included Apostle Ken Wakaman's name. We were happy. Why I'm making this verse note? I'm from I'm an Igbo person. I'm from Igbo state, so that people will understand exactly where I'm coming from. I am not a, a biased person, I'm not a tribal bigot. I don't have time for all this nonsensical tribalism. When your brother does something wrong, you, you continue to hide and, and protect your brother. But there are, there are ways you can protect your brother, and there are ways you can, you know, reprimand your brother. Now, so then you, my people, all grand pressure group that vowed to assist Ken Wakama to ensure that it, things we have done the way it ought. Suddenly, Ostada Wood came and told us that it's no longer grant that we are wait, waiting for, that we should wait for palliative. And I was meant to understand that all grand pressure group, we are responsible for the bundle heads, but the bundle heads, people who suffered, bundle heads who, who tried all they could to get names and sent to NGOs. Our grand pressure group was responsible in making sure that the names of bundle heads will not be included in the scheme of things. And nobody talked. UAAG did not say anything. UAAG supported all supported grand pressure group to ensure that the bundle heads were humiliated and driven out of what they suffered for. That one will be a topic for another day. So that it will not appear as if somebody is trying to cause problem that will uh, disturb the disbursement that is coming up. Now, follow me in this journey. But the same all grand pressure group suddenly turned and become grant handlers. I have never seen where this kind of thing happen. The same all grand pressure group suddenly turned and we are fighting. Fighting, fighting, fighting like wounded lions. And I, I, I have it from a good authority that why they suddenly try to take the mantle of uh, leadership from Apostle Ken Wakama was immediately Ostada Wood came and told the world that they are the ones responsible for the disbursement of the grant. People started subscribing to them. People were NGOs, people were coming, paying money to them. Now, all those monies that were paid to all grand pressure group. They don't see the way to bring them in. So they started fighting Apostle Ken Wakama to ensure that Apostle Ken Wakama will not disburse the money so that they will bring in 
some of the NGOs they smuggled in after the verification exercise. This is a truth that stands on its own. You can see how people who, are, who have come to assist to ensure that this grant is, is honorably disbursed suddenly turned against the smooth disbursement of the grant because those they collected money from will come after them when the grant is disbursed and they were not settled. In all fairness, in all in all sincerity, Apostle Ken Wakama is not a saint. Apostle Ken Wakama has his own fault, his own his own dangerous fault. Apostle Ken Wakama was the person that told us that after the verification exercise, that nothing again is stopped in the disbursement. And the on the process, they ask for people to loan them 100,000 naira. How the UAAG cunningly and craftily managed to turn the donation that people gave to them as a free will, as a, the, the loan that people loaned to them as a free will donation is only them and God will explain that one. Some of the NGOs, because of the fear, that uh, so that our names will be uh, among the people that uh, sacrifice. They, th- some of them accepted their, 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 their loan they gave to the free will donation because of the fear of the unknown. Do you know how many people's money that got missing through pay stack or payback? That that we that place we, we paid thirty five stack five thousand naira. Do you know how many people's money that got missing there? Because that arrangement was not properly done. So people lost the, people paid twice. So that their names will not be excluded from the payment list. All these things are the fault of Apostle Ken Wakama. But let us not dwell on that. If you want to kill an evil man, as I talk now, if you want to get an evil man, you get an evil man through his brother. An evil man is the only person in the entire world that can, because of 100,000 naira, sell his father or his mother or sell his entire village because of money. Look at the full step of Apostle Ken Waka, the full step of Mungwa Hachuku. Mungwa Hachuku, who was a lieutenant to Apostle Ken Waka during the support period, Ngwa Hachuku suddenly became the greatest enemy of Apostle Ken Wakama. Okay, look at it, all well or all bad, all well. And some of the evil people that are following our Grand Pressure Group, they were all following our Grand Pressure Group because they were among those people who registered with the all Grand Pressure Group after the verification exercise. So they were defending the money they paid to all Grand Pressure Group. An Igbo man opening his thinking mouth to say this kind of rubbish thing against his fellow Igbo man. All well, I'm referring to you. There is something we call emedurongwa in Igbo language. Emedurongwa, something you do after doing it. The, 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 the legacy and the repercussion will, will wait for your children and unborn children. You, you, you cannot kill your brother in the market square because you want to be seen as a, as a saint. No, no Aosa man can ever try this. No Yoruba man, no Egala, no Kogi man can ever try it. It is only an Igbo man. Do you know that during the Nigerian and Biafran war, sorry to put you back, that Igbos were taking the Nigerian troops to where their fellow Igbos were hiding because of little token to eat. They will carry the Aosa troops, go and show them where their fellow Igbos were hiding, and they will kill everybody. And they will still come and be crying, oh, they have killed my people. They, they were the ones that took the Nigerian troops to where their brothers and sisters, their family members were hiding. What a shame for an evil people. You, you people, you people, you people, you people, you are not, you are not ashamed of yourselves. Anytime they want to talk about people, they want to talk anything about betrayal, the, an evil man must be mentioned. Why? Why must he be so? They, they see, let me uh, let me ask you the sin that Apostle Ken Wakama committed. You cannot compare it with that of uh, what is his name, Theophilus Sebony, who suddenly came after he collected money from from bundle heads. We call it cluster. They collected money from clusters. 
there is no NGO that did not register with close to two million naira or two percent million naira with with a, with, with a uh, two floors body. Suddenly he came in the middle of the road that each NGO should pay five five hundred thousand naira. People went and sold their houses, sold everything, and paid. All those money went into the oblivion. Suddenly he came up again that a mother NGO, father NGO, uncle and nephew's NGO should pay 250,000 naira. So many people paid. Apostle Tiofro Sebuni collected all this money and he went into the oblivion. And the all Grand Pressure Group were there. The kind of fight that they are giving to Apostle Ken Wakama now, if they had given it to 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 two of it. That time they took him to EFC. I, I hope by now the man would have known where he is. But look at now, he has given a whopping sum of 50 something million naira to one EFCC agent, one EFCC staff, so that he will give him a self landing to go to, go to SI for 10 years. All the whole money he collected from what you see how nature works. All the whole money he collected from the masses, he has started selling some of his property. You see what nature can do. Okay, what about uh, um, uh, Supreme? The woman that took that took us to Badagri, we went to Badagri. To, to some people had accident on the road. Some people were were robbed, and so many evils that before some people that went to Badagri. At the end of the day, the woman came and told us that there was no man and was dancing, dancing in the internet with one rascal husband with dreadlock dancing. Let to tell us that we cannot do anything, that we can go to hell and burn to ashes. As all she cares. And you people have not killed her. She's still walking free in the streets of Nigeria. Is it a Portuguese no man that should be crucified because he's an evil man? You people are tra- turning it to be a tribal uh, descent. It's not good. Let us, we, when we say we are one Nigeria, let us be one Nigeria in truth and in spirit. I am not say, talking because I'm an evil man, because I know Apostle Ken Wakama contributed, if not 70%, contributed 60%. Why this grant is still being delayed now? All Grand Pressure Group saw a loophole in Apostle Ken Wakama and came in to hijack in December. Because if Apostle Ken Wakama has done what he told, okay, look at in December, he told us that if not that uh, we, are, we, we are entering uh, January, uh, that uh, if one week uh, extra is given, that uh, the money will be disbursed. Since that time, this is June. What happened? Okay, you knew the all the all keys have not been crossed and all eyes dotted for disbursement. Then you were giving us high hopes that this money will get it today and tomorrow. We get it today, today and tomorrow. Why, Apostle Ken Wakama? Why? Why in their deepest heart you knew quite well that this money wasn't ready for disbursement? And other shady deeds that you people were doing in in in, in, in UAH, which we knew. That is not what I what I am here for. So on this premise, please, I am pleading with caps at hand. Let all grand pressure group and every other person and your co-travelers, all well and all of you, should put your sword back in your shades. Everybody should done too. Let this money be disbursed. Are you people not tired of this unnecessary delay in the disbursement of this grant? Are you people not tired? Are you people not ashamed of yourselves that you that were grant, grant fighters suddenly became grant handlers? Trying to cause problem for the people you have vowed to come to protect. Are you people not tired? I am appealing to everybody, both uh, the people that are hyper in the, that of uh, UAAG and all grand pressure groups, let everybody control his or her temper to make sure that this grant is disbursed. If this month of June passes and nothing is done, you people should forget it. If this month passes and nothing is done, let everybody forget it. So, I am advising all grand pressure group, UAAG, everybody, all the stakeholders, everybody that is concerned. Obiwa boy came that time. We thought that Obiwa boy was, was going to put down heavens. He tried his own way. But the way he was fighting that time, we thought that Obiwa boy was going to turn water into wine. At the end of the day, nothing happened. This man, Anyangu, Pastor Anyangu came. He said that he's the chairman of all the whole CEOs. He came, cool down. And something is happening today. Something is happening tomorrow. All of them came, nothing, nothing. We didn't see anything from them. Nothing. We didn't see anything from them. Not to talk of Josh Lovely and his uh, high parent uh, this thing. All these things that we are doing just to 
uh, make people not to have BP or not to do this. But do people should cool down. Let nobody say anything. Let this disbursement start. If it's time for the MOU to be signed, the app should be open. Let people begin to sign the MOU and let things begin to. The more you people are fighting, let me tell you what you don't. The federal government can decide to seize that money and nothing will happen. The more you people are fighting among yourselves, you are telling the federal government that you people are not ready and they are looking for excuses for them for, the, for them to seize this money. And you cannot do anything now. Nah. All the ones that are forced to uh, to floss uh, Abel and the Mohammed Supreme took the one they took. What have you people done? So I'm advising everybody to cool down to ensure that this money is disbursed this month of June. Thank you very much. I remember bless everybody. I remember Honorable Jikin Henry Opasi, the only voice speaking in the wilderness for the grand community. Thank you and remember blessed.